This WooCommerce tutorial is for you if you are running an online store that requires your customers to upload files to be sent to you during checkout. An example of an online store that may require file upload during checkout is a print-on-demand shop. So in this video, I will show you how to add file upload fields on WooCommerce checkout. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So this is the demo website where I want to add file upload fields. And let's see what we'll get by the end of this tutorial. So if I go to the shop page of my website, then I add any of these products to the cart. I view the cart. I proceed to checkout. In here, I have the opportunity to upload a file. So I click on upload file and I choose my file. It is uploaded successfully. I click on OK and you see it right here. Going down, I enter my billing details, then I place the order. The order is placed successfully, and as a shop owner, I will receive the delivery, including the file as an attachment, which I can download from my email or through the WooCommerce orders page. So to be able to achieve this, we are going to install a plugin. And this is the plugin we are going to install. Check out files upload for WooCommerce by WP Huam. I'll leave a link to this plugin in the description down below. So what I do is I just go ahead and copy the name of the plugin. I exit from here. Next, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins, I paste in the name of the plugin. And right here is the plugin. I click on install now. Then I go ahead and activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Next, I click on settings. However, if for any reason you are not on the plugins page, you can go over to WooCommerce, then click on settings. From here, I click on checkout files upload. And you see that by default, the plugin is enabled. If it is not enabled, you go ahead and enable it. And with this, the plugin will work out of the box. However, if you want to make some more settings, you can go ahead and do that. So next under general is total file uploaders. In here, your user will have the opportunity to upload only one file. If you want to be able to upload more than one file, you need a pro version of the plugin. Next, we go to form extras. If you want your users to see progress by when they are uploading, you go ahead and enable this. You can also go ahead and enable alert on successful file upload. And finally, enable alert on successful file remove. Next is maximum file size. By default, it is set to zero. Zero means the size is disabled. For this tutorial, I'm going to allow my customers to be able to add a maximum file size of 10 megabytes. And this is the message your customers will see when the maximum file size is exceeded. I save the changes. Next, I go over to emails. By default, files will be attached to admin's new order emails. If you don't want to see the attachments in your email, you go ahead and disable this. I leave it as checked for now. You can also enable this to allow attached files to customers processing order emails. I'm not going to check this because the customer already have the files. These are the two features I want to talk about here. You can also go ahead and customize the email subject if you want. I leave everything as they are in here. You can also go ahead and customize the template. For this tutorial, I leave everything as they are. Next, I go to File Uploader. In here, you need to make sure that File Uploader is enabled. You can decide to make it either a required field or not. Here as well, you can allow multiple files, which is not available in the free version of this plugin. Next is accepted file types. At the moment, the accepted file types is JPG, JPEG, and PNG. You can go ahead and add in whatever extensions you want. Next is validate image dimensions. At the moment, it is set to do not validate. If I drop down the arrow and I choose validate exact size, I will be given the opportunity to enter width and height. So whatever values I specify in here, 
you said we have to upload files with exact dimensions but i don't think this will be ideal so i drop down the arrow and i choose do not validate next is positions which part of the checkout page do you want to see the file upload field so you can choose before checkout form after checkout form or do not add on checkout i will leave it as the default going down you can also go ahead and add it to the thank you page and then my account page i only want to see mine on the checkout page next is label this is just an instruction to your customers telling them what they need to do so i'll go ahead and customize it so i've added the allow file type as part of the label next is upload button what text do you want to see on the upload button in my case instead of choose file maybe i will say upload file and finally we have notices this is the message your users will see when they upload a wrong file type the same goes for image dimensions and what have you you can go ahead and customize them just the way you want going down to advanced in here you can set required products required product categories as well as required product tags so here i have the opportunity to choose whichever product i want to have the file upload field on so all what i need to do is search for the particular products where i want to see the file upload field so for instance i choose this and that you can do the same thing for categories like this or even tags at the moment i don't have tags on my website making these settings will depend upon your store requirement for now i'm going to go ahead and take them off then i go ahead and save the changes if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue now if i go to the shop page of my website then i go ahead and add any product to cart i view the cart proceed to checkout in here you see the file upload field and it's on the top part of the checkout page that is what i've selected and these are the allow file types perfect so let's see it in action i click on upload file this is the file I want to upload. I select it and I click on open. File icon was successfully uploaded. I click on OK. One thing you might have noticed about the progress bar is that it went too quickly. And the reason is that the size of my file is very small. If a customer has a big file size, they will see the progress bar. So in here, you see that I don't have any other field where I can add another image. Going down, I fill my billing details, then I go ahead and place the order. Thank you, your order has been received. And going down, you see the file right here. So let's see how it will come up in our email as an administrator. In here, I have the order notification. I go ahead and click on it. So this is the message the customer will see after placing the order. You see that they don't get to see the file attachment. So let's check the message for the administrator. This is the message for the administrator. I open it up and going down, you see the file right here. So from here, I can go ahead and download it and use it for whatever purpose for which it was requested. Now, if I go to WooCommerce orders and choose orders, this is the current order. I just go ahead and click on it. And right here, I have the uploaded files. I can delete it from here. I can view it in a new tab or even go ahead and download it i'll view the image and it is right there awesome i exit from here i can also go ahead and download it and it is downloaded right here perfect i'll be showing you how you can allow your customers to be able to upload multiple files let's see how we can achieve that to do that i go back to woocommerce settings then i click on checkout files upload next i go to file uploader under accepted file types i'm going to go ahead and add in another extension so i click at the end and i provide comma dot zip like this so this means users of your website will be able to add zip files going down i save the changes now here are the files which i want to send to the shop owner so what I can do is 
I can highlight all. Then I right click on any one of them. From this list, I go to send to, then I click on compressed. Then I'll go ahead and give the compressed file a name. My logos, hit enter to take effect. Now, if I go to the front end of my website, I go to shop. I will add this product to the cart. I view the cart. I proceed to checkout. In here, I go ahead and upload my file. I have my zip file right here. I select it, then I click on open. The file is successfully uploaded. I click on OK. Going down, I place the order. The order is placed. Now, if I go to my WooCommerce orders, I click on orders. This is the current order. I go ahead and click on it. And you see the file right here. So that is the pro tip you can give to your customers to be able to upload multiple files. So that's it on how to add file upload field on WooCommerce checkout. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching, and I will see you in the next one.